Flammable chemicals are chemicals that easily ignite and rapidly burn, releasing large amount of energy, mostly in the form of heat. Flammable chemicals come in all forms, such as gases, liquids, and even solids. Common flammable laboratory solvents include acetone, ethanol, diethyl ether, ethyl acetate, hexane, and toluene. Fires happen when three conditions are present in the same place at the same time. A fuel is present in its gaseous form or concentrated vapor. A source of ignition is present, such as a spark, flame, static electricity, or even a hot surface. And oxygen or an oxidizing atmosphere is present. It is important to know that if you can remove one of the elements of this fire triangle, you will prevent a fire. When using a flammable solvent, you must search to identify any potential sources of ignition prior to starting work with these materials. Sources of ignition can be flames and sparks. Perhaps surprisingly, flammable liquids themselves do not burn, but rather it is the vapor above the liquid that burns as the molecules move from the liquid to the gas phase. If spills on the bench top or the floor, these flammable chemicals quickly vaporize and air currents can spread them into a wide area where an ignition source could start a fire. Laws require that flammable chemicals be labeled as such using a hazardous class rating system. These ratings range from HC1 to HC4 with HC1 being extremely flammable and HC4 being combustible liquids. The substitution of halogen atoms for hydrogen on a hydrocarbon molecule tend to affect its flammability. Fire is a chemical reaction that is an oxidation process resulting from a flammable material being ignited in the presence of an oxidizing agent, usually oxygen in our air. Combustion can be complete in an atm atmospheric of excess oxygen or incomplete if a fire stops before all the flammable is consumed. This reaction generates products in various states of oxidation. The energy released from a fire is mostly in the form of heat energy and infrared and visible radiation. Many toxic byproducts are generated in a fire. Since many flammable materials are various forms of hydrocarbon compounds, the chemically obvious products are carbon di dioxide and carbon monoxide. Carbon dioxide is a simple asphyxiant, while carbon monoxide is a chemical asphyxiant. Items burning in the fire may also be toxic, most obviously smoke, which is a mixture of particulate matters and the gaseous products associated with the fire. The smoke is toxic because the particulate matter impedes lung function. Physiological effects begin when the oxygen levels drop from about 21% to 19%, and more serious effects appear at 16% and lower. Flebby is a boiling liquid expanding vapor explosion resulting results when a container of flammable liquid is exploded exposed to a high heat and the internal pressure produces becomes so great that the integrity of the container eventually fails, resulting in a release of vapors that are ignited in continuously a very violent explosion. If, if this flammable vapor cloud finds an ignition source as is likely would in a fire and the vapor concentration is within flamm flammable limits, then the rapidly expanding cloud will burn, probably explosively. Recognize the appropriate flammability hazard associated with the solvent. Assess the level of risk under the circumstances by considering means by which a vapor might be generated and released and determine if any source of ignition are available. Minimize the risk by substituting Chewing a less flammable sol solvent using less solvent working in a ventilator area to limit vapor concentrations and eliminate sources of ignition. 
Prepare for emergencies by locating and knowing how to use the appropriate fire extinguisher.